Now, let's talk about systems of linear inequalities. One of the things na kailangan niyang matutunan about this kind of topic is kung paano ba siya i-graph. Kasi by graphing, you can identify the solutions or the solution set of a given system of linear inequality. Right now, you have here a sample of the given graph wherein yung pink shaded part niya, siya yung kinakonsider na solution ng ating system of linear inequality. And actually, this one is the graph or of our example number one na kailangan natin ipakita mamaya. Now, for example number one, we need to find the solution set of the following systems of linear inequalities. And the given is that we have y is greater than negative 3x plus 5. And we also have y is less than or equal to x minus 2. So basically, kailangan natin graph itong inequalities na to sa Cartesian plane para ma-identify natin yung kanyang solution set. So, ano yung first step natin? Ang first step natin is to change this inequality into linear equation. So, if you have y is greater than negative 3x plus 5, ang gagawin mo lang naman dito to convert this is to change this symbol into equal sign para maging linear equation siya. So, you can have y is equal to negative 3x plus 5. Then right after that, after mo convert bilang equation itong inequality, you need to check if this equation is transformed as y is equal to mx plus b. Kasi itong form na to, it will give us the clue what is the value of m and what is the value of b. So in this kind of given equation, it's already in this form y is equal to mx plus b. Therefore, we can easily identify your slope m and your y-intercept b. In this equation, your slope natin is simply negative 3. So you have now negative 3. And for your y-intercept, which is 5, alam natin ng coordinates niyan ay 0, 5. So right now, we are done with the first inequality. Let's move on with the next one. You have y is less than or equal to x minus 2. Change the symbol to equal sign. So you can have y is equal to x minus 2. And then, ang gagawin dito, since meron naka slope intercept form siya, you can easily identify your m and your b. Our m here is equal to 1. Meron tayong 1, though invisible siya. And for the y-intercept, you have negative 2, in which ang kanyang coordinates ay 0, negative 2. So, since you already have the slopes and the y-intercept of those inequalities, we are ready to graph this sa ating Cartesian plane. Ang gawin natin ngayon dito, mag-focus muna tayo dito, gamitin natin yung kanyang y-intercept. 0, 5 is located here along the y-axis and this is your graph for 0, 0.5. Ito yung kanyang location. Now, para mapag-create tayo ng pangalawang line, we need to use this slope which is m is equal to negative 3, m is equal to negative 3, wherein, gagawin natin siyang rise over 1, so you have 3 over 1, which is, yung run natin is negative 3, so gagawin natin yung run natin si negative 3, eh. since ang run natin, sorry, ang rise natin is negative 3, again, the rise is negative 3, ang movement natin is, from this point, mag- we move tayo ng 3 units downward. So you have 1, 2, and 3. Again, 1, 2, and 3. Tapos, yung run natin is positive 1, as you can see. Meaning, from this point, we will move 1 unit from left to right. So, papunta dito, 1. Again, 1. So this is our second point. Ngayon, 
Ready na tayo mag-graph ng line. Pero ang tanong dito, is it a solid line or a broken line? Balikan mo ngayon dito yung iyong inequality wherein, as you can see, yung ating symbol of inequality is greater than. Ibig sabihin, kagamit tayo ng broken line. Broken line tayo. 1, broken line, okay. Ngayon, ang tanong, Sir, saan pong shading ng ating graph? Since yung ating inequality is greater than, yung ating shades, or yung shading ng ating graph ay sa upper part ng line, which is dito yon. Mag-shade lang tayo. Again, since, gumamit ta, since ang ating inequality ay greater than, yung wala siyang bar sa ilalim, ang ginamit natin ay solid line. Tapos, since greater than yan, ang ating shading ay sa upper part ng ating graph. Next, let's move on with the next one. Mag-focus naman tayo dito. Dito, ang kanyang y-intercept is 0, negative 2. Alam natin na yung placement niyan ay dito sa below sa, low, sa lower part ng y-axis. Tapos, para malocate natin yung second point, nagamitin, kagamitin natin yung kanyang slope which is m is equal to 1. So kung i-convert natin ito bilang rise over run, meron tayo itong invisible 1. Ang rise natin is equal to 1. So 1 unit. And then, yung ating run is equal to 1. Ibig sabihin, mag-move tayo across the x-axis ng 1 unit din. Therefore, ito yung ating second point. Ngayon, pwede tayo mag-draw ng line. Pero, kailangan mo natin isipin, alin bang line ang gagamitin natin? Is it a solid line or a broken line? Since meron tayo itong bar, automatic, we will be using a solid line. Kailan lang mag-draw lang ako ng line. Sorry, I will be using a different color of this. Gamit ang ibang kulay. Let's try having this para sa next line natin. So again, we're using a solid line because meron tayo itong bar. Next, ang tanong, saan naman ngayon ilalagay yung shade ng graph natin? As you can see, meron tayo itong less than symbol. Ibig sabihin, sa lower part ng line, tayo magkakaroon ng shading. We're in ito yun. Ngayon, as you can see, we're done graphing the two inequalities. Sir, saan dyan ngayon yung solution ng ating graph? So, gagamit ang ibang kulay para mapakita ko sa inyo, alin ba talaga ang graph natin? Dito, ito ang mismong graph natin. Or ito yung mismong solution ng ating given system. Ito siya. Sir, bakit po yan? Dito kasi nag-intersect yung graph ng dalawang given linear qualities meaning this is th this part this part is the graph of our given system of linear inequalities okay ibig sabihin niyan lahat ng mga points na kasama sa part na yan ay kasama sa solution set ng ating linear inequality Again, I hope na natuto kayo sa ating given example on how to graph the given system of linear inequalities. And now for example number 2 naman, we have negative 2x plus y is greater than negative 4. And then we also have 3x minus 6y is greater than or equal to 6. Ang gagawin natin dito is to convert 
these inequalities into linear equation. So you have negative 2x plus y. Gawin mo itong linear uh, equal sign. It will be negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 4. And you need to transpose this para maging slope-intercept form siya. You have y is equal to 2x minus 4. Wherein, we can easily identify the value of slope, which is 2, and your y-intercept b is equal to negative 4. At ng coordinates nito ay 0, negative 4. And then, okay na tayo dito. We already have the slope and y-intercept. Let's proceed with the next one. You have 3x minus 6y at gagawin natin siyang equal to 6. So ang task natin ngayon is to transform this into y is equal to mx plus b. Transpose mo sa kabila ito. You can have negative 6y is equal to negative 3x plus 6. Then to solve for y, divide negative 6. Divide negative 6, divide negative 6. So you can cancel out this one. Then you have y is equal to x over 2 minus 1. Ito na nga yung slope intercept form niya. So you have your m is equal to 1 half. And your y intercept is negative 1, which is ang kanyang coordinates ay 0. Negative 1. Since meron na tayo rito, slope and y-intercept, ready na tayo mag-graph ng linear inequalities natin. So, mag-focus muna tayo rito. You have your 0, negative 4. Alam natin na dito siya located sa lower part ng y-axis. At para malocate natin yung next nating point, gamitin natin yung slope na m is equal to 2 for the rise over run. Yung rise niya is equal to 2, so gagalaw tayo ng 1 and 2 units. Ang run naman is equal to 1, so mula dito, 1 unit din dito. So we can have the second point. So ang isipin natin ngayon, alin ang gagamitin natin? Is it the broken line or the solid line? As you can see, mayroon tayo itong greater than symbol at wala siyang bar sa ilalim. Since wala siyang bar, ang gagamitin mo ngayon ay broken line. So you have here, broken lines. So we are done with the first inequality. Let's move on to the next one. Ah wait, di pa tayo, di pa, pa, tayo, pa, pa tayo tapos. Saan ngayon ang shading nito? Is it sa upper part or sa lower part ng graph? Since meron tayong greater than symbol, ang kanyang shading ay sa upper part, which is dito siya. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next inequality. Ang kanyang y-intercept is 0, negative 1. So, gagamit tayo ng ibang pen. Para makita natin, gagamitin natin. So, 0, negative 1. Ito ang kanyang location. Tapos, para malakit natin yung kanyang second point, gagamitin natin itong slope na 1 half. Your m is equal to 1 half. Therefore, ang kanyang rise is equal to 1. So, we have 1. Ang kanyang run is 2. So, 2 units 1 and 2. Ito ang location ng ating second point. And then, alamin natin ngayon, is it a broken line or a solid line? Since meron tayo itong bar, automatic we will be using a solid line. Okay, draw lang tayo ng ating graph. Now, titigil natin, natin ngayon kung siya ba is upper part or sa lower part magkakaroon ng shading. Since meron tayo itong greater than symbol, ibig sabihin yan yung upper part yung ating shading. 
So, draw lang natin. Ngayon, para ma-identify nyo ngayon yung solution set ng ating system of linear inequalities, hanapin mo ngayon sa part ng graph nag-intersect yung dalawang inequalities. As you can see, eto yung kanyang intersection gagamit ng ibang, ano, ng ibang ink. Eto yung kanyang solutions. Itong kulay pink na to. Okay, so these are the possible solution set or solutions. Lahat ng points nandito ay kaya ng satisfy yung given linear inequality. So sa pink sa pink tayo, yan. Okay, so I hope na natuto kayo sa ating two examples. Do mahaba siya, at least matututo sa na kayo ng kung paano magsolve ng systems of linear inequalities. At the same time, you can easily identify where is the solution set. Of the given system. Again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, at hit the bell button para update kita sa ating mga future uploads. I am Teacher Gon. Malamit malamit salamat. Bye bye.